Hello, hello, hello everyone. How are you doing today? How is life? How is everything? Hopefully everything is very good, very great. Are you enjoying so far our weekly English class? I hope so. My name is Sam Martin. If you are new to this channel, let me inform you. We have a weekly English class on this channel. And uh, like I said, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you will be notified every week when we release a new lesson. Bonjour, bonsoir tout le monde. Qui j'en ouye, qui j'en la vie a yé pour ou. Pas blie, non mwen sem sem se matin. Et sou fek vini sou chanel sa, abonne a chanel la et klike sou ti cloche la kon sa chak semen au courant le nou poste yon nouvel video anglais pou ou menm. Je di a nou pral gon klas ka vreman interesan. Nou sete ke ou enjoy li ou apren ansam avek nou. Today we are learning auxiliary verbs. We are learning two of the auxiliary verbs. Je di a nou pa pran de nan verb auxiliary yo. What is an auxiliary verb? Ki sa yon verb auxiliary? Yeah. Well, let's say an auxiliary verb is a verb that can be used in a sentence to help another verb. Son verb ke yo ka itilize nan yon fraz pou l'ede yon lot verb. It can be used by itself or with another verb to um, add grammatical information to that verb. Nou di ke verb auxilie la ka ajoute informasyon gramatikal avek yon lot verb. Son verb kon ka itilize pou kont li, kon sa tou ou kapap itilize l avek lot verb. Na pou gon ti tan pou nou etudye sa ansam. Je di a se pomye kwa e probablement ap gen lot kou kap vini toujou sou suje sa. The first verb we are studying today is to have. To have that indicates possession. And the second one is to be. The verb to be uh, tells about who you are, what you are, where you are, and as well about your mood, your state of mind. Those two verbs can say about who you are, your possession, what you are, and where you are, your profession, but as well about your state of mind, your mood. If you are happy, if you are sad, This verb can indicate your situation, your current situation. Jean nous dit le premier verb que nous avons étudié, c'est le verbe to have, on dit le verbe gagner en créole, qui uh, exprime possession, son posséder. Et le deuxième verbe là, c'est le verbe to be, qui parlait de qui est souillé, qui saouillé, en termes de profession, qui bon ou yé, localisation. Et également, le verbe, ça va parler de état d'esprit ou de. de, de qui j'en sent sur un moment, sur un sentiment triste, sur un sentiment que content, par exemple, ou capable d'utiliser le verbe ça. Before we jump into the verb, let's consider the personal pronouns. Avant de nous aller dans le verbe là, nous regardons d'abord le pronom personnel. Qui est le pronom personnel? Alors, le pronom personnel, c'est moi, ou, li, nous, ou, pluriel, Yo. Okay, those are the personal pronouns. In English we can say I, you, he for man, she for woman, it for things, we, you, plural, they. So now for the verb to have, I can say I have, you have, he, she, or it has, we have, you have, they have. This is the present tense of the verb to have. Samson Dinola say, Tan present verb to have, Koteo Kadzi, Mwengenye, ou genyen, li genyen, nou genyen, ou genyen, 
pluriel yo gagne par exemple i have a pen you have a pencil he has money she has a phone we have a table you have a car they have a tv c'est exemple qu'on est capable d'utiliser verbe avoir au temps présent but this is the affirmative form ça c'est forme affirmative verb to have now for the negative form you just need to add do not for the first and the second personal pronouns and does not for the third personal pronoun singular pour forme négative là on a besoin ajouter do not ou bien don't pour contraction pour capable jeune forme négative verbe to have et pour troisième personne du singulier il pas do not la does not ou bien doesn't can you say it doesn't okay now for example let's say i don't have a pen you don't have money he doesn't have a car she doesn't have problem we don't have solution you don't have a computer they don't have a tv that's the negative form of the verb to have but that's not it samson banula c'est form negative verb to have mais il pas fini là. Gain aussi forme interrogative. Interrogative form. Now, pour former forme interrogative là, on a besoin mettre do qui c'est un lot auxiliary verbs. OK? Un lot auxiliary verb. On a besoin mettre do then you have do devant verbe avoir là pour former forme interrogative là do i have money est-ce que me l'argent do i have money do you have an appointment today does he have a bicycle does she have a motorcycle ou ka remarquer que le mettez does he m'a dit has but does he have or he has l'a répondre m'a dit he has but for the question does he have do we have to go to the party tonight do you have an appointment with your mother Do you have to go to class today? Do they have to spend their money? Ça c'est façon qu'on capable utiliser forme interrogative là pour verbe avoir. Remember we said we are learning today the verbs to have and to be. Let's now go to the verb to be to be expresses uh, where you are who you are what you are your profession your mood you know how do you feel and stuff like that but we can say for the verb to to be i am you are he is she is it is For things we are you are they are let's 
use that verb in some sentences. Are you with me? Let's go. I am happy. You are rich. He is a doctor. She is a nurse. We are students. You are teachers. They are Christian. That's the affirmative form of the verb to be. Now, for the negative form, you just need to add not. So simple. I am not happy today. You are not a student of this class. He is not a member of the church. She is not a nurse. We are not members or we are not students of the school. You are not drivers. They are not Christian. That's the negative form. Now, for the interrogative form, so simple, you just need to reverse the verb. Am I? Are you? Is he? Is she? Are we? Are you? Are they? Now, you're going to do an exercise for me. I want you to um, use in your own words, your own sentences, the interrogative form of the verb to be and leave it in the comment below. So today we learned that there are two, I mean, we learned two of the auxiliary verbs to have and to be and when you can use them to help other verbs or by themselves. And we know as well those verbs can be either in the affirmative form, negative form, or interrogative form. Now, I want you to leave me some sentences below, in the comment below, with your own words. That's all we have for today. Enjoy this lesson. I will see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell. C'est tout ça que nous avons pour aujourd'hui. Ah, pas oublier sous pourquoi abonner avec Chanel là pour abonner. Donc nous te apprenons aujourd'hui à verb to be and to have qui bon qu'à utiliser au form affirmatif, form négatif et form interrogatif. Pour nous amener ou même pour t'acquitter pour moi quelques phrases dans commentaire qui en bas pour exprimer la avec mon pau. En allez, see you next week.